learning to do things he didn't have to do before. One of them is to lead. <laughs> Even as big and old as he is, he didn't lead up next to me. He wanted to walk behind me. So, and those of you familiar with saddle bread, they get a little bit more wound up than the personality of a walking horse, you know, when you try to do new things. So, you know, you got to use a little softness and, and a little more patience with them because they're hot and they like to get up and go. So the goal here with your baby or in horse is make sure that he's walking up here with his shoulder near me, get up, and not behind me. I want him to walk, and then when I say the word trot, 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 I want him to trot. And that doesn't mean hop, trot. I want him to rear on his hind legs and be still. Because, you know, he's a stallion, he's hyper, and <laughs> He's light on his feet, and he's learning not to over, overreach for me. And it's respect. Whoa. Now, I want him to start to stop straightly. He's learning to square up. He's pretty good right there. I could lead him, but one thing he's trying to do when she's teaching the park is to move this shoulder into you. It's a little different than the other. A little bit pushy there. So, he knows how to park more than the mare, but not as good as the gelding. I want to turn this head away, park. When I do this, so this foot doesn't get in the habit of coming out to me and, and turning this whole body sideways, park. One more, one more, good. Whoa, okay. So he's learned to level out his back and stretch his neck. There we go. Definitely not step forward. Ah, good boy. Good boy. <laughs> He's begging to go to the horse show. He says, take me. Take me, mama. Yeah. Okay. So that's really good. Now, on the stallion, we're not going to feed him because I don't want him begging for food. Good boy. Now, just petty. We're going to back him up because we don't want him getting forward with his hind feet. I want him to be fiery and spirited when I ride him, but I don't want him to be 
dangerous and hard to handle. I want him to be very gentle and not make me work hard to, to have him around. Okay, he's a little off on the back feet there. I don't really like how we have that. So, you know, it's up to you to square yourself. Back up. Just a little more even. Back, boom. Okay, nose to me. Back. Uh -uh. That's better, a little better. Heart. No. No. Fix it. Okay, let's go. That's not good enough. No. Okay, heart. 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 Good boy. Heart. Get a little slow. <laughs> All right, let's stretch it out here. Uh -huh. No. No. Oh, you got to start all over. Ah. Okay. Get out there. Get him out there. Ah. ah. Park. There we go. Okay. Stretch it out. We know he's going to pull that hind foot up. Watch out. There you go. Back it up. Good boy. We'll let him get out of that because, like I said, he's learning. Don't get too picky and get too worked up about it being a little bit unperfect at the beginning. Give them a chance to count to four and, and praise them a lot for every little step they do that's good. Because uh, you don't want them to get stressed about it. It shouldn't be a stressful lesson. Good boy. I taught him to do something that challenged his courage. It's kind of cool. So I will share that with you. And I like to do this with baby horses and I'm trained. There's our tire and the collar. Everybody pulls to get in shape. I need to call her when we do the harness. That way it doesn't hurt your neck. Okay, so this was hot for him. Because he's got long legs. <laughs> and he says, oh shit, when he first started. Okay, step up. Let's go. He hasn't done this in a little while. Let's see if you remember. Can you put it up there on your own? Good boy. Good. Now step up. Good boy. Uh -uh. You had it good. Step up. Step up. Good. Now step. Good boy. That's my boy. Oh, yes. <laughs> That's a good boy. Now, this may seem like nothing, but <laughs> go to do it with a horse that's never done it. And just putting your feet on your pan and go. Good boy. Hello, oh, how's my buddy? Huh? How's my little buddy? You want the next scratch, you giraffe? Look at that. Oh, let's scratch your neck, you giraffe. Have you ever scratched a giraffe's neck? Oh, right there. <laughs> okay. I think that's good, giraffe. <laughs> okay, back up, Popper. Back up. Now, you want to make sure their hooves clear that ledge. There you go. You don't want them to panic, hook their hooves, and then panic out of there. And they can do that. And if that does happen, come back and spend a little more time trying to get this calm and relaxed. Okay, step up, step up, step up, let's go. I'll get out of your way, come on. Step up, step up, come on, let's go. Step up, good. Good boy, I'd like him to put his foot up a little more. I'm gonna help him, good. Now step, good boy, good boy. God, my short feet tall. Oh, what a good boy, yes. Whoa, no, no. Now, I don't prefer him getting off, and I didn't tell him to. So, get up, step up. I'm going to pressure him a bit to get back on there. And always wait for me to give him a signal to get down. Good boy. Yeah, I wasn't done with you yet. Good boy. Now, he is so smart, he really does learn tricks in the day. And I probably, back up now, back up, haven't done this in a month, this particular thing. So when you're teaching your babies, be sure to try and not make mistakes. If they make a mistake and get down and you don't correct that right away, you've taught them to make their own decisions on when to do it and when to not do it. So try to make sure you're calling the shots when and where. Okay? So that concludes my video on teaching your horse to park. I hope you enjoyed our three different practice horses for you, and uh, good luck in your show.
And just remember, the most important thing about a horse show is to have fun and enjoy your horse. This is Trish from Sheer Heaven Farm. Have a great day.